Welcome to another episode of Cool Dude Clones Electronic Workshop in Stereo. Although the thing that I'm going to be doing right now isn't stereo. However, it is, yes, another episode of Tube Time. Welcome to Tube Time on Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. And I just screwed up with the camera there. In today's episode, I'm going to build this circuit here, which is an FM, a tube FM radio. I know somebody has been asking for this for a long time. So, this is the circuit that I'm going to build today. Seems a fairly simple circuit. The only problem is, I don't have the exact components for this particular circuit. For instance, I don't have a 3.3 mega ohm resistor, but I think three of these put together will work just as good. Also, I'm not sure about the tuning capacitor. I've got this one here, which I um, salvaged out of an old radio. It's not the Selena radio that I took this out of. This was just some old crappy thing, but um, these connections right here seem to have the right amount of capacitance, so we got a ground there and two terminals there. Now I'm not exactly sure how the variable capacitor is configured in the circuit because I don't know if this is acting like a potentiometer so when one side goes lower the other side goes higher or if they both go down and up at the same, but we'll just have to see. I've got no idea if the circuit will even work. The only other thing is the transformer, the audio transformer. Now I've got one right here, which I don't know what this came from, but um, it has the right sort of ratio. It's about 1 to 3. We've got about 150 ohms on this side, and we've got about 45 ohms here, and 45 ohms here. So it's about you know, it's a little bit more than 1 to 3, it's about 1 to 3.3, but it should be, you know, in the ballpark, so to speak. Of course, I've got no idea what the original transformer would have been. However, I'm going to build up the circuit and see if I can get anything out of it. A nice thing about the circuit is, it's low voltage, so I'm not going to need any kind of high voltage power supply. I can power this off. 12 volts, yep, look at that, it's 12 volts, no high voltages here, Tw just 12 volts. So I'm going to start making a start on this circuit and we'll see how things go. Okay, I got this part done, the camera has decided to go inexplicably bright for some reason, but as you can see, I've got the coil now connected to the variable capacitor. The middle terminal is not yet connected to anything, but I could use any of these middle terminals I want, I could use this one, I could use this one, or I could even use this one because they're all connected together internally, so it's no big deal. So what I'm going to do now is connect the little RF choke, which is this little thing here that I made, and it literally is what it says in the schematic. I haven't actually measured the inductance, but it says here that it can be made by winding 24 turns of wire round a half watt resistor, which is what I've done. So I'm now going to connect that to there. I'm also going to connect up a couple of other bits and we'll see where we go from there. Well, it's starting to look like something now. As you can see, a whole bunch of components soldered onto this now. We've got the coil, which I forgot to explain how I made it. I literally got a AAA battery and wound the wire around that because that was the exact right diameter to wind the coil around and you can see everything else on there so we got our grid leak for the first stage of the circuit this is the ground wire there's the RF choke and capacitor for the RF filter and of course there is the ground which if you remember I said is connected internally through the capacitor to this one here as well so it doesn't really matter which one I use. So I'll put that down 
there. So I've only got a few more components. A transformer, a volume control, antenna capacitor, cathode resistor, and of course the two. Pretty much got everything on there now. I just need to put in the tube, which is this tube. So that will go there, maybe there. I haven't decided yet. Just gonna hook that all up and we'll see how well it works. Can't wait. Okay, here I have build up the circuit, the little one tube FM receiver. And it sort of works and it sort of doesn't. Now I've got it hooked up to my amplifier so we can hear the output of it, but um, I don't seem to be able to tune into anything. It makes all the noises that you would expect an FM radio to make while trying to tune it. But I don't seem to be able to get any stations. Let's turn it on. The tube is starting to glow. Here it comes. Let's turn it up a little. And about this is about all I can get. Now I'll try tuning it. It sounds like it's trying to tune into something. Oh, actually, I've got something. Very faint. It's actually tuned into something. I actually heard, I heard speech for the first time ever out of this circuit. And I got that on YouTube. So it is actually tuning into something. Just seeing if this does anything. Well, we did get. We do have something, but it's very faint. There's a very faint signal coming through, but it is doing something. Alright, well, not one to admit defeat. I've changed the circuit a little bit. I've basically gone and swapped out that tuning capacitor for these two trimmer capacitors. They're about 13 picofarads at the most each. Now this battery can come out. All that was doing was just keeping the coil shape while I put it in its new home. <clears throat> so with the two... I don't know why my chair does that. It bangs. I'll just be sitting on the chair, just minding my own business, and all of a sudden it'll, it'll go bang and go down a little bit. I don't know why it does that, but anyway. So the two trimmer capacitors are joined together here and here. And then that's connected to our ground. And the other side, the trimmers are connected. Well, this side, this trimmer is connected to this side of the coil. And this side of this trimmer is connected to that side of the coil. And the only real disadvantage of this is I don't have a plastic bladed screwdriver to tune this thing with. So, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem. But anyway, I'll turn this on now and see if we have any sign of improvement. And it's not even lighting up this time. Oh, hang on, I haven't plugged it in. And I disconnected it from my power supply while I was doing this, so that's probably why. It's also probably not a good idea to have the supply wires right next to the circuit, because they could be blocking some of the signal. Alright, so... Got some light. You can hear a hum. So I'm going to try tuning one of these and see if it makes bring brings in any radio stations.
think we're going to be out of luck with this circuit. Just in the vein hopes that I might get something Well, I guess that's it for this video. I admit defeat. The hell. I just said I admit defeat. And something comes through. That was kind of weird. Maybe we can get something. Well, I don't completely admit defeat. Well, it's definitely picking something up. There's definitely something coming through. But I think I'm going to call it a day for this video and upload this to YouTube. And then I'm going to get on with making a super hat radio that I want to try out and see if it works. So, yeah, until next time, goodbye.